Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna do a review of a plugin that easily allows you to translate your website into any language. So there are several reasons why you may want to translate your website. So for example, it could be that you want to expand your business to even other countries. So let's say for example, you have a company in America and you want to sell your products or services to let's say Europe, you can actually translate your website from English to Spanish or even uh, Dutch. So these are some of the opportunities that you could use. And also if you're a freelance designer or a uh, design agency, you can actually charge your customers an extra fee for translating their website for them. So what I'm gonna do here is to take a look at this plugin, how easy it is to install. All right, so let's dive in and let me show you how to install this plugin. So over here, I have a basic WordPress website that I've uh, added in. So what you wanna do is to go to the WPML website and go to purchase. Now there's three prices here. There's $29, 79 and 159. So there's uh, slight differences between the uh, $29 and the 79. And then the difference between the 79 and the 159 is pretty much the 159 allows you to install this on unlimited websites. And by the way, these are yearly prices. So it's pretty, pretty affordable. All right, so when you take a look here, and in fact, the one I recommend here is the $79 because this one allows you to do quite a lot of stuff. So check this out. Here we have multilingual e-commerce support. So that means you can use this with WooCommerce. So this is fantastic if you have WooCommerce websites or you intend to design WooCommerce websites for translation. And then here you can also translate text in themes and plugins, uh, manage attachments. So you can also go in and... Um, translate all your attachments. So there's quite a lot of uh, few things that you can do here. We also have uh, CMS navigation. So we can also translate that. We also have sticky links. And as I mentioned, this one here is only for one website, the $29. And then this one here for 79, this allows you to install this onto three websites. And then the, the uh, 159 is for unlimited. All right. So what you want to do once uh, you've in, uh, you've bought this, you will get a dashboard. So I'm just going to come over here to my account. I've already gone ahead and uh, signed up for this service. So I've just clicked here on downloads. This is the page where you get to download all your plugins that you need. So these are the plugins. So you want to go ahead and install these first four. These are very, very important. So you make sure you download and install these first four. To do that, you just come over here, click on the download uh, button, and these will be downloaded onto your computer. And then over here, this is where you get the, um, the extensions. That's the uh, $79 one and uh, the other higher one. Okay, so over here you can see you have uh, WooCommerce. So you can go ahead and download the WooCommerce, the Gravity Forms, Contact Form 7, so you can translate all this. Okay, so I've gone ahead and downloaded them and this is where they are. You just, uh, to install them, you just click on Add New and then you can upload them onto your computer, I mean onto your website and then install them. So I have them all here, as you can see. I haven't activated them. Now the website I'm using this on is Divi. However, you can use this on any website. It can be Gutenberg or it can be Elementor or whatever it is, this will do a very good job of translating it. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to just show you quickly how easy it is to translate your website. So once you install this plugin and you've set up everything, you will get this drop down right here at the top. So when your visitors come to your website, they can just come over here, hover over this area and translate this to whatever language it is. So as you can see here, this is in English. If I come over here to uh, Spanish translation, you'll notice that the whole website gets uh, translated into a different language. And as you can see here, this is the Spanish version. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna switch it back over here to English. Now, what I'm gonna do next is to go into my website and show you how to set this all up. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard. So over here on the dashboard, you don't get to see uh, much but the translation really comes in when you go into the actual pages and then you'll see the options to translate your website into whatever languages it is. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on all pages. Right, so as you can see here on my home page, I have these three options. I've got the um, uh, English, French and German, okay? So what you wanna do is to, in fact, let me show you how to add other languages. So let's say I wanna create a brand new page. I'm just gonna click here on add new, and then I'm just gonna call this test, okay? So I'm just gonna call this test, and then I'm gonna click here on use Divi Builder because I don't wanna build this whole page from scratch, so I can just utilize the uh, pre-made layouts that we have in Divi, okay? 
So I'm gonna click here on use Divi Builder. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna click on browse layouts because I wanna use the pre-made layouts. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go with the basic one. I'm gonna go with this one here, the fashion layout. And then I'm just gonna click on use this layout. Okay, my page is loaded. So as you can see here, everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead now and save this. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna log out of this and then we're gonna go in and take a look at the um, how to add the languages. So I'm gonna come back over here to uh, all pages. So here's our test uh, website. Now, do you notice these plus buttons here? Yeah, so what you can do to start translating or adding more languages is to just click this plus button here. This interface here is very, very important because it allows us to translate every single thing on the page to whatever language it is. So right now I have Spanish and then I can translate this to English. So you can actually come over here and translate line by line, word for word. So this actually breaks down everything on your page that has text in order for you to make to translate it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open Lorem uh, Ipsum because of course I don't speak French or um, Spanish. So I'm just gonna assume that this is the translation, okay? So I'm just gonna highlight this, come over here. So high fashion, I'm gonna translate that to this. And what you may also want to do is to make sure that uh, when you take a look at um, high fashion here, you can see that it's a heading and it's a heading one. Okay, so you wanna make sure that uh, whatever you add here is also a heading one. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So now you can see they're the same size. Uh, next, over here, I'm also gonna add another paragraph. So I'm just, so just assume that I'm actually doing the translation here, okay? Right, so you can go through, you know, add all this, translate this until you're finished. Now, what you'll notice is we have this uh, counter here which says like 0% uh, complete, I mean uh, complete. It's very important that uh, you do all the, all the stages because if you don't, what happens is this won't allow you to uh, translate the page. So let me show you what I mean. So over here, now that this one is done, in fact, let me close that. So now that this one is done, you just have to click on this check mark to show that it's complete. And if you take a look at the bottom here, you can see it says 8% complete. So this is really, really cool. So you can go ahead, do that. Now, once everything is all done here, everything is translated word for word, this page will have the translation into whatever language it is that you're translating it to. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do all this. Uh, this is just to show you quickly how it's done. Now, let's say, like in my case, this is a very, very good example. I only speak English as my main language. I don't have any other languages that I speak. Let's say I want to translate my website into Spanish. How do I do this? Well, this plugin allows you three options to do your translation. The first one is to actually assign someone on, for your, on your website as a translator. Let me show you how that works. So if I come over here to translation management, if I'm gonna leave this page, and then the tab you want to click here is translation roles. Right, so as you can see here, we have local translators. So basically I have just my name on there, but what you can do now is to add someone to translate your website for you. So I'm gonna click here on add translator. So um, you can select from an existing one if you do have any existing translators, but of course in this case you don't. So you wanna click here on create new translator. So now you can add your first name, last name, email address, username, and then you can assign the role, subscriber is fine. And then once you've done that, you click on set language pairs. So this is where now you add the language that they uh, speak or they need to translate to. So this is where now you, once you uh, select this, they get an email notification and they become a user on your website. So as soon as that happens now, when they go to the pages on your website, they will have that dashboard that you saw earlier on where they can actually go in and start adding uh, all the uh, translations line by line. Now, once that's done, now we have this uh, tab here, which says translation jobs. Now this tab is very, very important because you as the admin of the website gets to see what's being translated from what language to whatever language it is. So as you can see here, we have the homepage. It's been translated from English to French, English to Spanish, uh, English to German. So you can actually come in here and see what has been done. And here you can see uh, we also have the test page, which we just created, and the status here is waiting for translator. So actually, this is really cool because it gives you a bird's eye view as to what's being translated and what's outstanding on your website. 
Now let's move on to the next item. So let's say you don't have a translator to do your translation for you. Now what do you do next? Well, uh, they have another option here. We have translation services and I've just clicked on this tab so you can see. So we have all these companies here that do the translation for you. So again, it works similar to adding a, a user. So what you wanna do here is to first authenticate. Now, I need to, I do need to make it clear here, this service is a paid service. So uh, you can um, take a look, compare the prices here. But as you can see, all these companies here are really, really good uh, and highly recommended. And these are also uh, recommended by WPML, which is the company that created this plugin. So what you wanna do here is to click on authenticate. Uh, you sign up for this uh, website, you'll get a token, you add your token on here, click submit, and now that company will assign someone and they will have access to your pages that you need translated. And of course, you'll pay a price. Now, the final translation is pretty much what you get when you go to a website, which is not English or uh, whatever language it is, where Google actually uh, asks you to translate it for you. Now, in most cases, you may think, well, that's is free service. Google can just translate my website and that's good. Well, it's not really good because uh, when it comes to languages, sometimes, or in fact, in a lot of cases, words are not translated word for word, which is what Google tries to do. So it's not very, very accurate and it's not very professional. So this is where you need these services where you can go in and make sure you translate your website correctly rather than wait for Google to use its machine learning to translate your website for you. So this is the main difference. But this one here, the way it works is it translates your, web, uh, your website for you, right? So uh, I think up to 2,000 words, it's free. Then after that, you pay. So it just it, it does the same as what Google does. Translates your website for you automatically, but you have now the ability to go in and make some adjustments. The Google Translate does not allow you to do that because it just translates the whole website and that's it. Whereas in this case, it translates the whole website for you, but you can go in and uh, readjust and uh, reword that translation. So I think that's a really, really cool uh, way of uh, translating your website. Right, so let's take a look here at what else we have here on um, on our plugin. So I'm just gonna come over here to settings. Now, this is the page which where, where you need to go to uh, pretty much make most of your settings. So as you can see here, the first thing is how to translate posts and pages. So you can use the uh, classic editor or you can use the advanced translation editor. Now, this is where you want to decide what you wanna do. So the uh, classic translation editor is where it allows you to add someone as a translator to translate your website for you. The uh, WPML advanced translator editor is where you are having these translation services to translate your website. Now, the cool thing is you can always go in and switch between the two at any time you want. Now, this also has custom field translation. So these are the fields we get uh, in Divi. So this can also translate that to make it easier for your users to uh, use Divi if they speak a different language. So I think this is a really cool feature, but I don't really use this to be honest. Now, let's take a look here at what else we can do. So if I come over here to languages, remember earlier on, I did mention that you can translate this into any language. So let's say uh, the languages that you see here are not the ones that you're familiar with or it's not there or there's a language that's not actually there because I'm pretty sure you know that there are so many languages, even in a single country. I've heard that uh, in India, there's more than like 200 languages in, that's in just that one country. So this is where now you'd go in and uh, customize your translation to whatever it is because you have the ability to type in word for word what the translation is you have your language switcher option. So this is where you get to add that little flag on your website and it's quite simple. Over here, you can uh, customize it and as you can see, when I click here on this drop down, it will show. Now there's something I need to mention here which uh, got me confused right in the, uh, in the beginning. So for the flag to show, you need to make sure that your pages are translated. So if the, uh, if the page is not fully translated, you will not see that translation thing. So at first I thought maybe things were not working, but Upon further investigation, I realized that that's what I needed to do. All right, so uh, moving on here, you can also add the switcher onto your footer of your website. So you can just click this check mark to, uh, to get the footer to show. And you can also come over here, customize the themes, the background, the border. So you can really go in quick and make it um, match your branding for your actual website. Okay, so again, you can choose horizontal, you can also choose vertical, but in my case, I'm just gonna you know leave it I'm not gonna add it on there. 
Now, this is a question that I also got uh, when I was doing a live review of this uh, plugin. And the question was, what happens with SEO? Because uh, we are used to like SEO with English, but now you can actually go in and set this plugin. So you can see here SEO options. Um, it can display the alternative languages in the head section and you're able to go in with your uh, SEO plugin and make those changes. Now, let's say you've made a lot of settings and you're not sure what you were doing. You can always come over here to the bottom and reset to default. So what do I think about this plugin? So to be honest, I think this is the best plugin out there that easily translates your website into different, different languages. Uh, the default way, like as I mentioned earlier on with Google, where you go to a website and it translates the whole website for you. A lot of the times it gets the context wrong. So that's not a way to rely uh, on if you're doing professional uh, websites and you really, really want your website to look really professional, you wanna go in and make sure you translate your website in a professional manner. So in that regard, I think this plugin is fantastic. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the fact that you have three ways of doing your translations. You can, you know, you can um, invite someone to come in and translate your website for you. The second way is to have these translation services. And the final way is to have an automatic translation, but you can go in and make those changes manually. Now, when we take a look at the price again, uh, by translating your website into a different language, this will allow you more opportunities. You can sell, I mean, it looks very professional and you can expand your reach as well by adding different languages. Now for $79, to be honest, I think that's a very, very uh, generous price for, for that plugin and what you can achieve from it. So in regards to the price, I think it's really cheap. Now for uh, design agencies or freelancers, again, even if you're paying 159, that price is also still good, bearing in mind that this price is a yearly price. So I think it's fantastic. And also, if you buy this plugin using my affiliate link, I will also give you access to my live workshop where I show you step by step how to set this plugin up. And also, you get a 10% discount. So this is really cool. You, uh, you automatically get a 10% discount when you use my affiliate link. So pretty much this is uh, my opinion about this plugin. I will definitely, definitely uh, recommend this. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any plugins out there that do a really good job of translating your website. And this is the best so far that I've seen on the market. So go ahead, give it a try and let me know how you get on with it. And also if you decide to buy this plugin, just drop me an email and uh, I will give you access to that live workshop. All right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.